Tesla here in the U.S. We'll have details. I'm Haley Alford. In. A great night to see falling stars. The Leonin meteor shower reaches its peak. Your CSN News starts now. A surgeon who was diagnosed with Ebola in Sierra and flown to Nebraska over the weekend for treatment has died. Hospital officials said today. The surgeon became the second person to die of the disease in the United States. The first who contracted Ebola in Liberia and traveled to Dallas died last month. This was the 10th patient to be treated on American soil and the third in Nebraska Medical Center. Hospital officials said that he was perhaps sicker than any other patient flown to the United States from West Africa. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services said, that, said Sunday that at least 100,000 people had submitted applications for health insurance coverage under the Affordable Care Act since the second round of open enrollment began this weekend. Nationally, support for Obamacare continues to decline, with the law hitting a new low of approval and a new high in disapproval, according to Gallup. Just 37% approve of the Affordable Care Act, while 56% disapprove. Incidentally, of people using health care exchanges, 71% of those surveyed were happy with the coverage, rating it as either excellent or good. The Leonid meteor shower is expected to peak from midnight to dawn on Tuesday morning. According to NASA, a wanting crescent moon will provide dark enough skies to view the meteors, which were also visible early Monday morning. During peak times, there are expected to be as many as 15 bright colorful meteors per hour, and they travel at about 44 miles per second, some of the fastest meteors ever recorded. So where do the meteors come from? They're actually leftover comet particles and bits from broken asteroids that the Earth passes through and collide with the Earth's atmosphere. Burnt up and create streaks in the sky. We'll be right back. Take a step back in time to visit the glorious streets of Verona in this year's Columbia Performing Arts production of Romeo and Juliet. With an all-star cast of students, this show will be too good to miss. Tickets are $10 at the door or $8 with two cans of food. The show will run November 12th through the 14th and the 19th through the 21st. The doors will open at 6.30 and the show will start at 7. It's a perfect excuse to get out of the house or a cheap date. So bring your friends, your family, and your good self and we'll see you at the show. Thanksgiving is coming up and good food is the best part. But with the holiday season comes the stress of cooking. If you want to take it easy in the kitchen this Thanksgiving, stop by the English Honor Society Bake Sale between the 17th and the 21st. The English Honor Society Bake Sale will be running the week before Thanksgiving during all three lunches. At this bake sale, you can get a homemade apple or pumpkin pie before you go on break on the 24th. You do not want to pass up on this opportunity. Stop by the English Honor Society Bake Sale and pick up your fresh homemade apple or pumpkin pie today. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 25 with a low of 12, and tomorrow's high is 28 with a low of 16. Personalized senior yearbook ads are now available to purchase with messages and photos. Ads are due and payable by December 5th. Please pick up an order form and submit the ad and photos to Ms. Levi in room 201. Order forms are in the office. Seniors, senior project times are scheduled and available for viewing in the 600 building upstairs. If you are scheduled twice, you are not listed, or your project is incorrect, or you have a time conflict, please see Mr. Buckridge in room 656. You have until tomorrow to make any changes. All students interested in joining Leo Club should plan on attending the club's first meeting of the year today, right after school in room 681. We'll be discussing the upcoming club banquet and future community service activities. Tampa football banquet will be Thursday, November 20th at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. All players need to bring a dessert. Dinner will be provided. Also, the color guard banquet will be today at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria, and Cross Country is having their banquet tomorrow. Sports Med Club members, your next meeting is Wednesday in the athletic training room at 2.45. Remember to bring your fundraising ideas. Today's SAT word of the day is beseech, a verb that means to ask or entreat with urgency, to supplicate, to implore. You could use it this way. Once he realized that he had forgotten the due date on his essay, Billy beseeched Ms. Pixler to allow him to turn it in late. That's your news. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the Bulldog Edition.